Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shai Marie Cruz and good morning from Canada. And our topic for today is about uh, NOC or National Occupational Classification and how to do the self-assessment so you'll know kung qualified ka ba sa express entry. So why is it important to know yung NOC mo? Because for every application, you need to know your NOC. Okay. Sa Pilipinas kasi, it's like this. For example, you're an accountant. Um, so, kahit anong position sa company, pwede ka. Dito sa Canada, um, when you say you're an accountant, you have to be specific on the job description, on the things that you actually do. Hindi siya pwede, jack of all trades. So, now let's take a look how to find your NOC or National Occupational Classification. Okay, punta tayo sa website, i-type nyo lang yung NOC on Google, okay, and click find your NOC. Okay, so we use the National Occupational Classification System to classify jobs or occupations. Jobs are grouped based on the type of job duties, what a person does, and for immigration purposes, the main groups are skill type 0, okay, um, Type 0 is management jobs, restaurant managers, mine managers, shore captains, okay, skill level A professionals, so doctors, dentists, and architects. Skill level B technical jobs, chefs, plumbers, electricians. Skill level C industrial butchers, long haul truck drivers, food and beverage servers. Okay, skill level D pickers, cleaning staff, or field workers. So, bakit important ito? Okay, whenever you apply, Okay, they need the NOC number. Okay, if you want to come to Canada as a skilled immigrant, express entry, your job and the work you have done in the past must be skill type 0, level A, or B. Okay. Then naman sa Atlantic, immigration pilot, or if you're applying sa New Brunswick, um, Nova Scotia, sa Edward Island, or um, Finland and Labrador, okay, ang kailangan mong job level is 0, A, B, C. But then, kung nag-fall ka sa B, it doesn't mean hindi ka na pwede mag-apply. Okay? At least, meron ka lang guide. Okay? And how do we know that? Okay? Pupunta tayo dun sa talagang NOC website sa letter E. Okay? Click natin yan. And, let's search by job title kasi hindi natin alam yung NOC code. And that's what we want to look for. Okay? Impusa tayo sa butcher. Okay? Walang S. So, butcher lang. Okay? So, ang daming classification din ng butcher. So, dito sa left side, makikita nyo yung 6331. That's your NOC. And then, dito naman sa right side, yung skill level, yun yung 0 A, B, C, D. So, dito daw, sabi dito, butcher, meat cutters, and fishmongers, sales and service occupations. Ang skill level niya is B. So, tignan natin, ano bang naandod? Tignan natin, click mo yung matching job duties at titles. Okay. Apprentice butcher retail or wholesale butcher shop butcher butcher shop okay so yan yung mga job titles click mo ulit para lumit yung pangalawa retail sales person sales and service occupations nasa skill level C na ito matching job titles butcher shop clerk okay yung sa pangatlo industrial butchers C Okay, matching industry, industrial butcher, poultry butcher, meat packing plants, slaughterhouse butcher. Kaya pala siya industrial butchers. Okay, fish and seafood plant workers. Classification niya is C. Matching job titles, crab butcher, fish and seafood processing. Okay, anyways, let's try another occupation. Okay, um, kanyari, midwife. Okay, midwife. Alam ko, isa lang. Midwife. Alam klase, midwife, diba? Okay. Allied primary health practitioner. So, ang NOC ng midwife is 3124. Okay. And ang skill level niya is A. Matching job titles. Licensed midwife, midwife, nurse midwife, registered midwife. Okay. Punta tayo sa ibang job titles. Hmm. Accountant. Dito sa Canada, ang daming classification ng accountant. Okay. Financial managers, financial auditors and accountants, supervisors, finance and insurance office workers. Okay. So, tignan natin yung management occupations. 
USP Level A Matching Job Titles Assign Public Accountants Chief, Independent Public Accountants Chief. Okay. Yung pangalawa is Financial Auditors. Okay. Accountant, Accountant Controller, Accountant Supervisor, Analyst, Auditor, uh, Branch Accountant, Budget. Okay. Usually, mas marami dito sa one 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 and then one to one to assistant accountant, assistant bank accountant, assistant mga assistants. Okay. Punta tayo sa okay, natin, um, information, information. So, Computer Information Systems Managers. Okay. And then, din siyang classification. Diba? Kasi meron din siya pwedeng IT ka, pero secondary school teacher. So, tingnan natin. Matching job titles for sure. Teacher secondary school. Okay. Tingnan natin yung sa taas. Computer Information. Okay. Mga Help Desk Manager. IT Manager. Implementation Manager. Integration Manager. Okay, yung sa pangalawa, business finance, okay? Tourism, information technician. Okay, infrastructure architect, information technology. Okay, enterprise architect, information technology. Analyst, business analyst. Okay, so tignan natin yung isa pang maraming categories. Try to why yun. Okay, try natin yung truck driver. Truck driver. Okay. 402. College and other vocational instructors. So, tignan natin siya. Truck driver trainer. Okay. Dito nag-training talaga mga truck drivers. Okay. Pag truck driver ka, okay, kailangan class 1. Okay. Pag yung karaniwan lang is class 5. That's my driver's license. That's so, mga professionals talaga. Pero talaga silang, nakikita ko sila nagpa-practice talaga dito. Okay, class 1 driver and driver. Supervisor, motor, transport, and other ground transit operators. Okay, na natin. Matching jobs, truck drivers, foreman, woman, truck drivers, supervisor, truck drivers, and drivers. Materials and your transport truck drivers, 7511. Ang NOC, ito. Bulk goods, truck driver, bulk milk, cement. Dangerous goods, dump truck, dumpster, explosives, flatbed, freight, fuel, oil, grit, gravel, heavy truck, liquid fertilizer, blah, 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 blah. Dami. Anyways, so that's it for our NOC, okay, National Occupational Classification. Okay, it's very important to get your very your specific NOC mo when you apply for my job. So now let's go to... Um, self-assessment for the express entry system. As usual, pupunta tayo sa website ng cic.gc Immigrate and then express entry and then how express entry works Okay, sabi dito, Express Entry is an online system that we use to manage applications for permanent residents from skilled workers. So, find out if you're eligible. Okay, answer a few questions to see if you meet the minimum requirements. So, yun yung A. I-click natin and ito. So, it will take 10 to 15 minutes to fill out this form. You will be asked questions about your nationality, age, language, ability, family members, education, work experience, and details on any job offer. So, importante talaga nakakadagdag ko ng points kung meron kang job offer. So, pag sagot mo nito, huwag ka masyadong kabahan kasi assessment lang ito. Okay? If meron kang mali, pwede kang umulit ng ilang beses as long as hindi ka pa nagre-register or nag hindi mo pa ipinapasok dun sa Express NP profile mo. So, click natin yung check your eligibility. So, when you're answering this question, you have to be... Um, as specific as possible or as close to your answer as possible to say this is very important so which province or territory do you plan to live in so which province example natin is Manitoba okay. so meron silang MPNP or Saskatchewan okay. 
So, Canada's official languages are English and French. You need to submit language test results for all programs under Express Entry, even if English or French is your first language. So, kunyari, galing ka ng England, galing ka ng US, galing ka ng Australia, for whatever reason, gusto mo mag-migrate sa Canada, sila nga, di ba, English na yung first language na, pero they still need to submit language tests. Okay, yung results. So, sa atin, di ba, Okay, click that and make a selection. So, IELTS, CELPIP, TEF, and TCF. Ano yung TEF at saka TCF? That's for French language test. So, usually IELTS tayo, di ba? And pag nilagay mong none, hindi ka makakapasa kasi kailangan mo talaga yun. So, you need to have an IELTS. Okay? Click natin next. What did, did, did you take this test? Okay, bakit nila tinatanong? Kasi ang IELTS or yung CELPIP mo, at least... Uh, minim kailangan less than 2 years old. Okay? Kung more than 2 years old na siya, okay, hindi siya tatanggapin, considered na expired na siya. So, kung iniisip ko, bakit kailangan less than 2 years old yung IELTS mo and after that, mag-expire siya, diba? Pag after 2 years ba, hindi ka na marun mag-English, diba? Diba, uh, the longer it takes, parang habang tumatagal, diba, mas nagiging magaling kung mag-English. So, anyways, I don't know the reason, but it has to be less than 2 years. So, punta tayo, ipapasok mo dito yung test score mo dito. Assuming na alam lang tayo sa average. Okay, 6.5. Okay. 6.5. Yung pinikot dito, ang pinakamababa ko yung listening. Okay, kasi medyo nahirapan ako. Nag-focus ako sa information, tas iba yung pinangang. Okay. Listening yung pinakamababa. Okay. Anyways, okay, do you have other language results? Okay, which language test did you take for your second official language? So, ang first language dito sa Canada is um, English and second language is French. Okay, except for Quebec, diba? Um, so, yung second language natin, the first language natin is Tagalog and second language natin is English. So, dito, ang considered na second language is French. So, it's either TEF or TCF. Kung marunong ka mag-French, okay, pero hindi ka nag- test. So, ang lalagay mo, none. So, ngayon, kung marunong kong nag-French, nag-French, and then nag-take ka ng test, so, ilalagay mo it's either TCF or TF. Okay. So, assuming, wala tayong alam. Okay, bye. Next. In the last three years, how many years of skilled work experience do you have in Canada? Remember, in Canada. So, kung wala, usually, sa karamihan, nag-apply, wala, diba? Pero kung nag-aral ka dito, meron kang 20 hours per week allowed to work. Okay? O dito kan work permit holder ka before, so meron kang Canadian experience. But not a lot. So, if you do not have any Canadian work experience during this period, please choose none. Okay, none. Of the above. Matunuri naman kami. Okay? In the last 10 years, how many years of skilled work experience do you have? It must have been continuous paid full-time or an equal amount in part-time and in only one occupation. So, paano itong example ito? For example, nag-aaral ka, okay, kinakuha mo accounting. So, habang nag-aaral ka, nag-trabaho ka as a cashier. Diba? Sa Jollibee. Yeah. And then, yung pagka-graduate mo, okay, syempre graduate ka na. Hindi ka naman mag-stay as a service crew, diba? Punta ka na sa medyo, punta ka sa office, sa main office. Ikaw, nagtrabaho ka po dun sa accounting department nila. Okay. And then, after a while, nung nakuha mo na yung CPA designation mo, naging assistant controller ka. So, kung ang ina-applyan mo dito is as a controller, as a controller, okay, hindi mag-account yung number of years mo as a service crew, kahit the same company ka. Okay, kasi ang sabi dito, in only one occupation. Okay? That's my answer. Kung may tanong, mag-comments pala. Anyways, in the last five years, okay, do you have at least two years of experience in one of these types of jobs? Okay, yung skill trades na industrial, maintenance, supervisor, processing, chefs, and butchers. So, paano mo malalaman? Okay, nakalagay dito, NOC code that start in 72, 73, 82, 92, 632, 633. Okay, malinaw yung pagkakasabi dito. So, masahin mo buti. Okay? So, in the last 5 years daw, they have at least cost. So, two, 10 years ago pa yung experience mo, it doesn't count. Okay? So, kung meron, ilalagay natin dito. Okay? Okay? 2 or more years. 
kung hindi ka sure dun sa NOC mo, find your NOC. Pero in-explain ko na yun kanina, di ba, kung paano malaman yung NOC mo. Okay, two or more years, next time. Okay, do you have a certificate or qualification from a Canadian province or territory in your school grade? Usually, ang answer dito is no. Okay. How much money in Canadian dollars will you bring to Canada? So, how many family members do you have? So, tanong, tignan muna natin yung how many family members. So, hindi ka sure, kasama ba ako o hindi? Okay, family members. So, click mo lang yung question mark. Nakalagay dito, include yourself, okay, your spouse or partner and any children that you have, even if your spouse, partner, or children will not come to Canada. Do not include your parents or any relatives if you have no spouse, partner, or any dependent children. Okay, put one. Kanyari, dalawa lang kayo mag-asawa. Okay, and yung, um, okay, yung pera mo is this one. Okay. Yan, how much money in can Canadian dollars will you bring to Canada? So, yung time namin is 10000 for the principal applicant and then 2000 for and every dependent including yung wife. So, kanyari, isa yung anak niya. So, plus asawa mo, 2,000 sila, plus ikaw, 10,000, 14,000. But then, I guess, dito nagtaas na kasi ang minimum nila is 12,960. So, nagtaas na. So, assuming, andito yung pera mo. Okay, dalawa kayo. Family of family. Okay? Next. Do you have a valid job offer in Canada? So, this is very important, diba? So, pag sinabi niyang, ano yung may valid job? Okay? Ano yung valid job? Sinabihan ako ng employer ko, pumuti niya ako. So, ano yung description ng valid job offer? So, generally, a valid job offer is full-time, non-seasonal, and permanent, continuous, and for at least one year. And make sure hindi siya nakalista doon sa ineligible employers with the government of Canada. Hindi rin siya pwedeng in-offer ng embassy, ng consulate, or high commission in Canada. Kasi di ba may mga nagpatrabaho dito na ahibin sa embassy, sa consulate, or high commission in Canada. Anyway, Okay, kung may job offer ka, okay, natin, yes. Next. Okay, so, nag-qualify tayo. So, your results. To apply online, you will need this personal reference code. So, ibig sabihin, doon sa mga base, doon sa mga sinagot mo, okay, ito na yung number mo, yung reference code mo. So, ito yung gagamitin nila. So, tignan natin yung steps, okay? Record your personal reference code. Ito yon yung OM. Okay, this code will expire on Monday, May 10. Okay, it is valid only for this profile. It is valid only for this profile. When you apply online, you will need to enter your personal reference code. You will need this code to retrieve the information you have already provided for your profile para hindi ka napa-order talaga. So, kung hindi ka sure doon sa mga sinagot mo, for example, yung mga ay mas maliit pala, ay mas malaki pala. Or, so, gawin mo lang ulit itong, um, uh, assessment and you will have another personal reference code so you don't need that. you don't have to worry about this so step two print this page you will need this information to apply because of the reference code step three register log in to submit your online profile so kung nag-register ka na okay ito pinatin mo is log into your account so meron ka na account hindi ka pwede mag-create ng www profile okay and kung bago ka naman click mo yung register to get a key okay Step 4, when you sign into your electronic credential known as your key, you'll be automatically directed to your account. Okay. Once you are signed in, select Express Entry to continue. So, enter your personal reference code. Ito yung sabi nila kanina yung OM. Okay. After you select Express Entry, then step 6, okay, once you have entered your personal reference code, you will be guided through the following steps to complete your profile. Complete the Express Entry Profile Builder, review your profile, submit your profile. Okay, after you submit your profile, you will see a page that confirms that your profile has been submitted. It will have more information on next steps. Shortly after you submit, you will also receive a confirmation message in your account. So, isasubmit mo agad yung express entry mo kasi intention pa lang naman to. So, wala kang documents na kailangan i-upload, wala kang documents na kailangan i-submit, even your job offer kung meron ka mang contract na agad. But then, that is very important para maselect ka agad dun sa express entry na yun. And this number is important. Kung sa feeling mo, meron kang hindi nasagot na tama o gusto mong baguhin yung sagot, wag mong uh, 
ilalagay ito dun sa express entry profile mo, gumawa ka ng bagong assessment bago ka magpunta sa express entry mo. And that's it guys. I hope you learned something new. And sabi ko nga lagi, you have to do your part. Read, read, read. Okay, even if you have a representative, uh, huwag kayong magintay na sila pa yung maghahanap ng uh, employer mo. Okay, you can do that on your own. Okay, may mga binigay akong website okay, kung ano yung pwede mag-register and apply for a job directly sa mga kanilang developers. Meron mga tumatanggap. And then, dun din sa uh, RNIP, okay, so specific websites sa mga community direct job offers yun, okay, that you can include in your profile para mas madali kang mapansin. Okay, and remember, walang documents na required. Kailangan mo lang i-submit agad yung application mo. Okay, so if you have questions, comments, suggestions, you can comment below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, thank you guys for watching.